wanna go for a run? He's a cutie. He's a cutie. How about you? How about you? Are you a cutie? You wanna go for a run? You wanna go? What are you doing over there? What are you doing over there? Hello. Hello, Herbie. Hello, Herbie. Hello, Herbie. Okay, you made your point. You made your point. I hear you. One. You're being very good today. Good job. As I went to put the last booties on a V, the two puppies were busy chewing their booties off of their feet. So I decided to just go. Uh, for the most part, this was just going to be a short run. We were only going to dip into the coldest weather for a little while and their feet were probably going to be fine anyways. This was more of an experimental run just to put the booties on the dogs, on the puppies especially, and give them a sense of uh, that this might become a more normal thing as we start to increase our distances in colder weather. My dogs! Hey! Hey! Whoa! Whoa! You stay. G. G. There you go. Let's go. G. G. Right here. There we go. Good dog. G. Oh man, who is this? On by. On by. Let's go, let's go, on by, on by, Eddie, let's go, on by. In this still, you can see the importance of a good lead dog. And while Adi is not the greatest lead dog, he's not bad. Here you can see three wayward pups pulling to the left. Verb in the back, Alapa, who should know better, and then Noun, and then the only one pulling to the right, pulling to keep three dogs on the trail, is Adi in the front. Um, this was not a good example of going on by. On by, on by, let's go, let's go, on by, on by, you go home, you go home. Good dogs, on by, let's go, on by, on by. Get out of here, get out of here. Let's go, my dogs, let's go. Good dogs, good dogs, mostly good dogs. So I'd say the, the beginning of this run was pretty much chaos. We had the chaos of trying to get booties on the dog. We had chaos of my dogs running down the middle of the road and uh, now I'm pulling a D away from the direction I wanted the team to be going. We had the chaos of this punk uh, neighbor dog coming out and, and bothering my team. The chaos of me falling off the sled. I mean, it's just a bunch of nonsense. Um, and while smushing is beautiful and quiet and peaceful and mesmerizing and awesome, it can also be, you know, you're dealing with dogs. So there's gonna be craziness all the time. Whoa, 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 whoa! My dogs, whoa! 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 Good dogs, whoa! Hey, my dogs, whoa! Hey! Now this could be some trouble. They'll stop at the bottom of the hill, I think. You guys are so good. You guys are so good. My little buddies. My little buddies, I'm sorry I fell off the sled. I brought two cameras with me today. 
because as one freezes by having it out in an outer pocket, I can keep the other one in my inner pocket and keep it defrosted. These batteries freeze like instantaneously. So we're dropping down the hill now. You can feel the air actually getting colder. I mean, you can feel, you can feel the thermoclines as you drop through them. Little levels of colder air and warmer air. And last time I was out at 20 below, I actually broke my plastic handlebar off. So, gotta be careful today. My dogs, G. G. Good dogs. Here we are. Should be 40 below down here. Good dogs, good dogs. We're gonna make our way down the trail for a little bit and pop back up the hill. Should be lovely. Nice and easy, doggy. is when my second camera froze. So after my fall yesterday, stay good dogs. I thought I'd do something a little different today. Number one, I'd wear a helmet. And number two, and I don't recommend that you try this at home, I'm back on my bicycle. The dogs had so much trouble yesterday, just four dogs. Amos is too skinny, his hair is too light to go out at 30 below. Um, so I figured I'd take my bike, I'd give a little boost. I can help out more than with the sled instead of just being dead weight, dragging behind them. The only trouble here, of course, is that uh, they could kill me. <laughs> um, and I'm not being entirely um, hyperbolic. There's a lot of power here, especially to get started. But they're listening very well. They're staying when I tell them to stay. They're going easy when I tell them to go easy. It's almost like they understand the bike better than they understand the sled and they understand that I'm much more vulnerable back here. At least that's the way it feels. Um, so we're gonna go do, I don't know, 10 or 20 miles, keep moving in this cold, and, uh, and we'll see how it goes. All right, let's do it. Line out, good dog. Whoa, 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 oh my God. Good dog, stay. So, as I said, as I said those words to get moving, my feet weren't quite on the pedals and they took off and I was able to stay on the bike, but uh, I gotta be more careful. They're being excellent dogs. You are so good, good dogs. Feet on the pedals. Okay, ready, let's go. Good doggies.
Okay, that was fun. So we had one dog stop to check out a piece of birch bark. And I said, let's go on by. And then that dog went on by and guiltily added a bunch of power. And I was only holding on with one hand. And now my pants are actually up in the seat and I can't get up. I've fallen and I can't get up. Oh my God. God, I love being alive. Oh, what fun. Good dog, stay. Stay, good dog. Verby, you, sir, you, sir, are a punk. So let's count, let's count how many ways I'm lucky there. Number one, didn't hit a tree. Number two, didn't hurt myself at all. Number three, didn't lose my camera. Number four, got it on tape. Three doggies, let's go. not pulling very well we're going faster than usual and he's just sort of like ah, I think I'll just go slack lining so what I'm doing is I'm letting a D run free and that makes verb pull really hard to stay up with him but my toes are getting cold And back. ID still in front. Verb and Noun doing great up front. I'll pause my steady, steady rock trotting along. And we're gonna see if we can't get out of here. Get back up the hill a little bit. Go have ourselves a nice big dinner. Maybe there's people on those plane, on that plane going to Hawaii or something terrible like that. I bet you they wish, I bet you they wish they were me. Good come, good come, good doggies, good doggies. Hey, dogs, looking. You guys looking happy? Are you happy? Hi, Alpha. Hi, Adi. Hi, cuties. Hi, cuties. So many good dogs. Well, my strategy of putting one camera in with a hot water bottle wrapped in a coat. Is successful. My second camera froze and I'm back to my first one. Planning. Hello my friends. I hope you consider subscribing to this channel if you like the content. I'm really enjoying seeing the subscriber numbers go up. It just makes me feel great that people are enjoying this, uh, these stories that I'm putting together and the dogs that I've got. Um, consider maybe the notification bell so you get notified when I put up a new video. I try to get one up about once a week. And um, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.
Hello, my friends. If you enjoyed this content, uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, hello, my friends. If you enjoyed this content, I, uh, I hope you can consider subscribing uh, and clicking that notification bell so uh, when I put out new videos, hey, you dogs, have some respect. Have some respect. Hello, my friends. If you enjoy that content, I hope you would consider. Oh. Ah. 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 I hope you consider pressing the uh, subscribe button and the notification bell. Uh, if you if you like what you see, um, I'd appreciate you supporting this channel. If you have any questions or comments, I'd love to see some. Hello, my friends. I hope you enjoy that content. And hey, <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Hey, hey, I'm trying to do some work here. I hope you enjoyed that content. Uh, if you did, consider uh, consider pressing the subscribe button and consider pressing that bell so that you're notified when I put a new video up. Um, thanks for watching, from me and all the do and all the dogs. Bye. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Oh my goodness! <laughs>